Hello, hello. I have a very highly requested video for you today. Many of you enjoyed my tiny house tour video that I uploaded last winter featuring my 400 square foot tiny cottage. And since that time, I have had so many requests to share my garden. And so today we are gonna take a break from beauty. No makeup, no skincare. And instead, my little gardening buddy, Bosley and I are going to take you on a walking tour through our gardens. For context, my aunt has owned this property for about the past 20 years. It is a two dwelling property. There is a larger cottage right next door to me, about a thousand square foot, and then I, of course, live in the tiny 400 square foot cottage. The first 10 years that my aunt owned the property, she in fact lived in the thousand square foot cottage and created beautiful gardens. Then about 10 years ago, she moved into a townhouse. Update, a few months ago, she sold her townhouse and has since moved back into the cottage right next door. We have been having so much fun gardening together and I love having her next door. Bosley loves having her next door. A couple of other side notes. This is a very natural garden. We have some sun areas, we have some shade areas. Um, we don't use any chemicals. We do a lot of composting and a lot of mulching. I'm gonna put a lot of information in the description box. Some of my favorite gardening books, some of my favorite gardening tools. And one more thing, at the end of the video, I have some really cute footage of Bosley playing with Jimmy, my aunt's cat. They are super best buddies and they're really, really adorable together. So stay tuned to the end of the video. I think I have some other little goodies at the end of the video for you. So if you are excited to see our garden tour, I would love it if you would throw this video a thumbs up. You know that really does help support my channel and I very much appreciate it. All right, long enough intro, let's get right into the garden tour. I hope you enjoy it. All right, there's my tiny house and my little tiny shade garden, bird bath, bench, my um, window boxes, which I love. Let me get a close up of them. Those are dragon wing begonias, extremely hardy. And by the end of the summer, they're gonna be twice that size. And some of my very favorite, just plain green hostas, but with beautiful, beautiful ribbing and when they bloom, the white blooms are large and beautifully fragrant. And then if you look to the left, the pathway that leads from my house to my aunt's house. So there's my aunt's house and she has a painting outside that she painted. She is an artist. She did most of the work, most of the paintings that I have inside my house. But let's just walk through the sort of wild and crazy garden. It's a little haphazard. It's very natural. Um, I have a lot of beautiful daylilies, uh, red ones, yellow ones, peach ones. And I do let the milkweed go for the butterflies to lay their eggs. My bird feeders. And then, like I said, it's sort of a haphazard garden. There's, I do have um, some Swiss chard in there. Beautiful bee balm happens to be blooming right now. It blooms for quite a long time. And it's called bee balm because as you can see, but as you can see, they love it. They just love it. It's a close up of a big fuzzy bee enjoying himself. Okay. One sunflower that planted itself. I gotta plant more sunflowers next year. They're so, so pretty. Anyway, that is sort of the effect of the shade garden. Of course, a lot of things are not blooming right now. We have iris. We have this sort of volunteer, there's Bosley, volunteer um, sumac. And we have a lot of peonies that of course bloom much earlier in the year and my golden rod, which I think looks really pretty with the uh, bee balm. That plant there will bloom in the fall, tall purple spike. Next year I have to 
take video throughout the year so you can see different seasons. Uh, the purple coneflower is starting to bloom. I love that prairie flower. It's beautiful. Of course, more bee balm. And then we have a little potting shed, which I sh will show you behind that. Little pieces of garden art scattered throughout. A little angel bird bath, which needs cleaning. Hummingbird garden art. So here is the view of my house from my aunt's front step. Now here is the view of my aunt's house from across the street. And there is my house, just for reference. Darling picket fence and, you know, some nice plantings in front of it. Low maintenance. Nice little arbor there. There's Bosley again. He just got a haircut today. And we will walk up her front step to her sweet, sweet little cottage. Come here, Bosley. Lots of garden art, some sculpture, some pots, some hosta. Again, lots of plantings. Lots of bird feeders, lots of bird baths, lots and lots of hosta. There's her side yard. We spend a lot of time here because it is shady in the afternoon. I'll just give you a quick little view. At the end of the street, you really can't see it, is a dead end with a beach. Nice big deck for entertaining. And a little fire pit right there that we, you know, enjoy some little bonfires, especially in the autumn. And here is the view of her side yard from her deck. All right. So from her, from her front step, looking out to the street, there's the arbor, and there is one side of the garden, and there is the other side of the garden. Now in the spring, there's a lot more blooming, and um, we are working on the gardens together, so we are going to be working on all season bloom. But as you can see, the red daylilies are going crazy, so we still have some nice color. But where the work happens is this little private potting area that we have. This is where we pot up our pots and do transplanting. I don't know, the lighting is a little odd right now. But you can see it's pretty shady. Got all of our pots and our tools and our soil and our mulch. It's a great little area to to get the garden work done. Here is, whoops, the potting area from the other side. And the sun garden, of course, from the back. That window there is where I sit and do my videoing, so I look out over the garden, which I absolutely love. And once again, we have hung a painting outside. Again, another painting that my aunt painted. It's sort of nautical themed sailboats, but I think it's really cool to have art outside. And then there's the art on her house that I get to look at every day. Oh my gosh, this garden was probably planted 25 years ago. We have some huge, huge specimen hostas. Blue ones, variegated ones. You know, hostas, we love hostas. Absolutely love hostas. And then sort of our back secret garden path, which we love. Again, lots of hostas. And here's our little secret garden path. More hostas. And again, this leads 
to the back of my aunt's house and there are our kayaks again this is more of a utility area so i'm not going to keep going okay and then coming back on the secret garden path again <laughs> hi bosley you good boy the back garden path going from my aunt's house to my house and what i love about this garden is it's really just i don't know for us no one really comes back here Beautiful, beautiful hostas. I love that limey one. Contrasting with the purple. I can't remember what that is. I'll put the name up. These are just really pretty sweet little hostas. This is another favorite. I'm going to have to ask my neighbor what the names of these are because I got them from him. And I just love it. I think it's a gorgeous tiny little it's not tiny but it's a smaller hosta and I just love how it contrasts with that nice big yellow one and I love hydrangeas and then we have this little path going in between the back shade garden this hosta here oh it's not really showing up very well this is called June Oh, the lighting isn't showing it up very well. It's one of my favorite hostas. And these are Francis Williams hosta, and that lime green one is a huge sum in substance. More Annabelles. Some really pretty ferns. Japanese painted ferns. Look at how pretty those are. And then, whoops, I need to put water in the bird bath. More hostas. You're going to get tired of looking at hostas. But again, you know, look at that pretty contrast. The lime green, the dark green, the, dark, the light blue, the powder blue. And there is the back of my aunt's house from the top of the shade garden. Her darling painting that she painted. Let me see if I can get a close-up of that. She's such a talented artist, and I love how, you know, she scatters art everywhere. And then here is a view of the shade garden from the back of my house. Okay. Lots of hostas, lots of hostas. And there is our secret garden path. My sweet little wren house. My sweet little wren house. And they have a couple of batches of babies in there every year, which I absolutely adore. Shade garden. My deck, which I'm not going to show you because it desperately needs painting. My house. The sun garden. Again, the view of my house for my aunt's step. I mean, I just love living here, you guys. I love it. My aunt and I are very, very good neighbors. She's not home where I would introduce you. Sometime I will introduce you. Yeah, that's really pretty. Let's get one more shot of the bees. Big fuzzy bees. Happy as can be. All right, that was really fun to take you with me on our little garden tour. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, of course, I would love it if you would give this video a thumbs up. All that being said, I hope you have a beautiful day and a wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you in my video next Sunday. Thank you. Bye. Hi, Bosley. You go boy. And there's Bosley's buddy. There's Bosley's buddy, Jimmy. Jimmy loves Bosley.
Yeah, Jimmy loves Bosley. There you go. Just a minute, just a minute. Oh, is that the cutest thing?